Hello, Virgo. So let's go ahead and get started. I am going to be pulling cards today from Doreen Virtue's Archangel Power Tarot deck, as well as her Archangel Michael deck. And then the Whispers of Love by Angela Hartfield. Let's make sure you guys can see those. Okay. Let's see what we've got going on here. Okay. So the first card we have is Seven of Michael. And if you can read the bottom of it, it says, there's a better course of action available for you. Working alone may not be the best answer. Review all details. So if you look at this card, let me see if it will zoom in. If you look at this card, there's a figure and he's and he's about to go down a path that is is the wrong path for him and archangel michael's trying to stop him from going down that path and trying to get him onto the illuminated path that he's meant to be on so i get that that there's going to be a number of you where archangel michael and the angels are, are trying to get you to not go down that path that is not meant for you because there is a better course of action so really think about you know what is it that i want what is it that i'm trying to accomplish because you know we all have different unique vantage points and views and ways of looking at things but what they're saying is is that that you're missing the details you're, you're missing what's important um they're saying some of you are missing it on purpose like you're not wanting to see what's really going on and, and it's like you're turning a blind eye and and some of you just you truly aren't aware it could be something related to mercury retrograde or just you just not being aware of what's going on behind the scenes because i get for a number of you this is your your lover your partner your romantic partner i, I get that you know you're planning to move forward with them thinking that they're being honest and true to you you're heading down that dark path truly thinking they're right for you they're trying to do what's best for you but they're not they're deceiving you they're lying to you and they're trying to get you to see the the path to see the truth to see what it, what's really going on and they're saying some of you know what's really going on but you're you're denying you're in denial you're ignoring it because um some of you are ignoring it because you know for financial reasons you, you know you're afraid you're going to lose something financially some of you are ignoring it for reasons of trying to get things to where they were and they're saying it's never going to be happy it's never going to be where it was um, those of you in the financial they say that the um the person's just using you for money so what they're really encouraging you to do oh and they're saying for some of you it's like a work situation so some of you there's something going on at work you've got a situation at work so for some of you they say that you, you're you're blindly going down the path thinking that you know they're watching over and they're taking care of you they are not um same thing you have to look at it from a different perspective and for some of you, you've had a situation going at work and so you've determined, okay, here's how I'm going to fix it. This is, this is what I'm going to do. And you're like committed. You're dedicated to that is what you're going to do. It doesn't matter what anyone else says. They're trying to get you to shift your perspective because that, that is not, that's not the best solution. That's not the best path. That's not the best way to resolve the situation. So for everyone, regardless of whether it's, it's love, it's work, they want you to be successful in this situation. So Archangel Michael's giving this and the angels are giving this as a heads up to let you know that there's something going on that you are unaware of. There is more than meets the eye. Um, your best interests are not at heart, be it with your partner, your lover, your, your supervisor. So they want you to know that so that you're not deceived, so that you can actually you know, pay a little bit closer attention because there, there are ulterior motives going on. What they're saying is it, it could cause long-term consequences if you're not cautious and, and if you don't really pay close attention to uh, people's motives. Next card we have is Epiphany, which is good because um, by paying closer attention, so you know, that they're giving a warning. Warning, this is not good for you. This is a bad path. Things are going on that are not in your best interest. If you heed that warning and you, you proceed forward with caution, you're going to have an epiphany. And at the bottom it says, joy through spiritual growth, be light to others, answers that come through meditation so I, I get for the for those of you that you know heed this warning and and you pay attention to the signs and the things that are going on that um, aren't clear to you and you, you really observe and also pray and meditate and ask for help you are going to get some some insight regarding this situation and, and it's going to help you determine where to go and what your next step will be but but you're going to have to really pay attention because they're saying some of you this 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 deceit this um misleading you it's 
it's quite blatant and quite obvious out there that so many people can see it. Uh, they're saying like for some of you, you've got like family and friends that have been for a long time saying, why, why don't you see the way she treats you? Why don't you see the way he treats you? Um, because it's just so obvious to everyone. But for those of you in that situation, because you want so badly for this to work out, you're committed hell or high water, you're gonna make it work, but but it, it really will be bad for you. Very, it, it's detrimental. It's it's going nowhere, it's a dead path. And for some of you, it's not so blatant and obvious. I mean, it's a similar thing. You can have friends and family telling you that, hey, we don't think this is right, but but you're, but I get for a number of you, even they're not bringing up, they, they're, I get that they have a sense that something's off, but they don't know what. It's not so clear. And also for those of you at work, you know, I, I, but I get the, that those of you that this is a work situation, it's like purposefully being hidden from you. So you, you are totally unaware. So by heeding this warning, you will have a huge epiphany that is going to come in and it's going to be your night. It's going to deliver you from going down that wrong path and, and causing yourself further strife, um, hardships, um, heartache. So by heeding that warning, You'll be you, you'll be your own knight that comes in, and, and and you'll be able to be successful in this situation. Be it you're going to walk away from that person, walk down a path for toward the person that they do have meant for you. Some of you met, some of you have not met them. For those of you in the work situation, by heeding, moving forward with caution, getting that epiphany, that information, you're going to be able to self, to save yourself from potentially having to look for new employment, from any potential demotion, cutting of your hours. And they're saying it is going to be an emotionally turbulent time to get through that because you look here, there's there's waves crashing. So so I get that that you're going to be the knight on the on the horse coming in, saving the situation, rescuing. It is going to be an emotional time, but it is going to go go fairly quickly for you. It will be swift but it's all hinging off of, of being aware of this this deceit that's going on that you're unaware of but again a number of you 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 are going to you are going to be successful you are going to have that epiphany you are going to figure out what what is going on now this card is detached from the situation and if you can read the bottom of it it says archangel michael i ask you to use your flaming sword to cut any attachment to fear or drama so that i may be centered in the knowingness that peace is everywhere within me in this situation so, so they're saying for a number of you, this is this is a very emotional situation. It's a very personal emotional situation. So because it's so personal and emotional, you, you're having a hard time seeing it objectively. You're having a hard time seeing that person objectively. Like, are, could they really do this to me? No, they wouldn't do that. Or, oh no, that's not it. We're just, we're having a hard time getting back to where we were. Or no, my supervisor wouldn't do that to me. You're, you're too close to the situation. So they're saying, take a step back, take a step back, look at it. Um, look at a big picture, rise above it and look at it. Um, because Archangel Michael's saying that if you can detach from those emotions and you can step back, which he will help you do that and, and be able to actually depersonalize the, the situation, depersonalize the experience, depersonalize the, your connection with that person so that you don't take offense and so that you don't let emotions override the common sense and the things that are in front of you and, and the deceit that is in front of you that needs to be dealt with correctly for your best interest. If you can do that, that's going to give you that epiphany, that information that you need to move forward. So, so what they're saying is, is in order to get that epiphany, take the time to detach, give yourself permission to step away from everyone involved. And for some of you, you don't even need to know what the solution is yet. You don't need to know, okay, what are the details of that path? If I decide not to go down this path, what are the details of where I'm going? You don't even need to know those details yet. At this point, what's really key is just detaching yourself from that person, detaching yourself from that situation so that you can get that inner peace and you can get to a place where you can be open to that epiphany that's going to be coming through for you. Next card we have is prayer will help with this situation. If you can read the bottom of it, it says, Dear God and Archangel Michael, I ask for your divine intervention. And then you can describe the situation. I welcome your help and I trust and follow your guidance with gratitude and grace. I need a miracle and ask that you send one to me in this situation quickly. Thank you and amen. So you're being reminded that that prayer can improve anything and everything because you're worrying, you're fretting, you're dreading your um, avoidance. It, it, it's not helping the situation. It's actually worsening it. So they're recommending that you let that go you pray you give it to god so by praying you're, you're allowing god and the angels to assist you because they won't assist you unless you ask 
for their assistance. And prayer is asking them to assist and help you. And then they will intercede and, and they will be able to help you come out with a, a positive outcome. And for some of you, it's gonna be different than what you expected. So for some of you, maybe in the job situation, you know, you're thinking everything's going great. You're, you're moving on the path at work. You think you're being set up for promotion and you know, they're gonna come in and answer your prayers and maybe they're going to, maybe the answer is you move into a different department. And that's not really what you were hoping for. You were hoping and praying for a promotion, but that's not what came through. Suddenly you're now in the you know accounting department, which is not what you wanted, not what you envisioned. You envisioned a promotion in the HR department. And so now you're at the same pay grade in accounting and that's not what you wanted. But unbeknownst to you, had you continued down the path where those supervisors were doing, your supervisor was is deceiving you, um, you may have been demoted. You may have ultimately lo lost your job. So if, so what they're encouraging you is when you pray and you give it to God, they are going to bring to you what is divine and what is perfect for you. It, it will be the perfect solution for you as well as everyone else involved, but it may not be what you, what you expected. So, and then they're saying for like some of you, this is, you know, a romantic partner that you've really been trying so hard to work it out with. You, you keep trying, keep trying, and you've had signs for months and years that this is not the right person because they repeatedly deceive you, hurt you, lie to you, cheat to you, cheat on you, steal from you, but you keep trying to make it work. So, so you may be praying, thinking, okay, make it, make this work with him, make this work out with him, but pray, let go, give it to God and God and the angels will bring you the perfect solution. So maybe it doesn't work out with him. Maybe what happens is you get this other guy and he is better than anything you could ever imagine. And he's a soulmate for you. And it's this divine love connection that you never imagined you would ever have because God's gonna bring you what's perfect for you. But you're gonna to have to pray, and you're gonna to have to turn it over to him, the angels, so they can take care of it. And um, you're gonna to have to trust and know that even if it's not what you envision, it is divine, it is perfect, and, um, and it will be a blessing. Last card we have is look at your patterns in relationships. It requires inner strength to recognize that you need to change or modify your behavior. So they're saying for a number of you that's um that's tied to your, to your relationships. For they're saying for a number of you that this is a relationship situation. What they're saying is is, is you keep trying to um they're saying that those of you that this is a, a, a relationship situation, you, you keep having the same pattern with that person who's not meant for you. So say for example you find out that that person's been unfaithful but you keep going back to them. You keep trying to prove yourself to them that you're worthy of your, their love and, and that, you know, that you can help them, you can assist them. And, and then they go in there unfaithful to you again. And, and then, you know, you realize they're unfaithful again. And then maybe you realize that they were just using you for money, but you keep going back to them. It's an unhealthy pattern. So what they're recommending that you do, because this person's not meant for you, this, um, they're saying for those of you in the situation, this pattern has happened for years. It's not them. They're not the right person for you. They never will be the person for you. It's a lesson for you to learn. That person is simply a lesson for you to learn that what is it that you keep doing in your relationships? What is that pattern? So they're saying, you know, take the time to look at the pattern and what is driving you to attract this sort of person in your life and this repeated experience with them. What is it that's, that's causing that in the first place? because you'll then find that the next person you meet will have the very same similar qualities to your last partner that is you know just that you keep energetically attracting so for some of you it may not be the exact same person for some of you maybe you're like okay why why do i repeatedly find someone who um, leaves me feeling alone and abandoned unloved and uncared for because it's it's a relationship pattern that you keep energetically drawing to you because that lesson has not been learned yet. But once you're able to really look at that pattern, acknowledge it, heal it, release it, at that point, you've learned the lesson. You've, you've learned what you were supposed to learn from that person, that pattern, how they made you feel. And once you've learned that, you'll be able to attract a healthy outcome. You won't attract that type of person anymore. So once you've learned that lesson, be it, you know, that person was brought into your life to repeatedly be unfaithful to you, to repeatedly hurt you, financially hurt you. For some of you, maybe it's multiple people that have come in and do, done those things to you. But once you, you're able to actually dig down deep and realize, okay, what is the bottom line? What is the core thing that I'm, I'm supposed to be learning from this, this pattern in relationships that I have, these repeated emotions, these repeated things? What is, what is that bottom 
bottom line, what is the lesson I'm supposed to be learning? Because when you realize what that is, you will have learned your lesson and you will be onto the right path where you're actually going to meet someone that's a healthy relationship. It's a rewarding relationship. For some of you, it's going to be a divine connection relationship. That's when you'll have the miracle in your love life. But until then, you'll continue on this vicious cycle. So, that, so they're encouraging you to get out of that vicious cycle. The time has come and they're going to help you with that. So pray, ask their assistance. They will help you with that. So I do wish you all much luck on digging down deep, getting that epiphany, getting on your right path. And you have an entire team there to support you. You're, you're completely surrounded by the angels. Just make sure you're asking for their help. Thank you to everyone for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for all of your comments. I love to hear back from you. Filled with a lot of love, joy, and blessings.